Welcome to PSP Evos Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to show the user startup and the user's details, name, email, uh, phone, and address from the database. And we only show that user, not the admin uh, name, email. We only show that user name, email, and addresses. Okay. So for it, uh, let's go back to our code and we go to our admin folder. And in the admin folder, we we'll directly go to admin based of page. So right now, we we'll can go down and here you can see we have the cyber and here you can see user. So here, let's say users.php. So when I click on users, we want to go to this page. And let me just do one thing that is let me just add this users.php in every other pages over here. So let me just go to add product. Let's go down. And let's say here, if the store BHP, let's go to all order. Let's add it over here as well. Then this left order. Here. Then we go to update order. Okay, there is nothing. Let's go to update product. And here, uh, if we go down, then you can see get the users option here. So right now, uh, how we need to do is that we need to create this users.php file in the admin folder. Uh, since currently we are inside the admin folder, so right now I'm just right click on admin, then click on link file, and our file name is users.php bundle s then save. So for now, let's say here H table, and in the body we can say a join all user semi. Let's go back to our browser, let me refresh, and if we click on users, it will show us this. So in this page, first of all, we're going to have the sidebar and the napalm design. So body, let's go back, and we go to our admin page.php. And I'm going to copy everything from here. So one to lane, from to C. Then we move to our user.php. If you just remove this, and we paste whatever we just published. And let me just uh, remove this text from here. Here I'm going to say all users. Save it. Refresh here. And if you click on users, here it is the cipher, the navbar, and all users text here. So, first of all, let's then create a table here to show the insert data. For it, let's go back. Here, we have to mention the table tag. In the table line, we have the table row, and in the table row, we have the table data. So we show the user name. Let's say your user name. Then let me just say your th again. This one will mean user email. After that, we will send your user phone. The last row will be user address. Let's say your address. After this tr, we will mention another tr about the table data. And we are going to say here TD. For now, let me just copy this and I'm going to paste it. Free time. And in this TD, let's give some random data. Let's say A, B, C, T, E, F, G. Save it. And we already write some design for the table tag, the TH tag, and TD tag. If we go to our uh, admin style.css, and if you go down, here you can see we already write some style for the table tag, style for the D stack, and style for the TD tag. Okay, so if we just refresh here, there you can see we already have the design for the table. So here we start those data, we only to show the data from the table, from the user's table, and we only want to show the user data, not the admin data. So for it, all thing you need to do is let just go dot users.php and let's get done top and here you can see PSP started here. So there let me just give the database connection, let's say that dollar pom people go it will be my SQLI underscore connect. Here we need to say local post, comma it will be root, comma this will be null. Then we need to make sure our database name and our database name is PSP underscore ecop. So right now you have connected to the database. So let's go and write a SQL query. So let me declare a variable, let's say dollar SQL equal to power position. Then we say here select star form. 
to need to make sure to be in your images users let you just show you over here you can see they will name is user and we only want to show that up by that user type is user so i'm just going to say here user type is the call book we are going to see and and we can just say here team sorted and in this with a single or let me just do one thing that is it just keep that in variable dollar let's say dollar is underscore user and the value will be user and here you can see this value this value will be uh this one here you can see user and here it is that user type that user type is basically this user type okay and so here the stop user let me just say gear is user I'm writing it this way because this is the proper way to write it and I forget to add the quiet gear. So we need to say here select start from users where the user type is user. After that we're going to need the variable dollar razor equal to my sqli underscore qd then the first bracket. First of all here where we should mention the database connection which is dollar panel and then we're going to mention the sql here. Let's just copy it and paste it here so right now using this dollar reason we are going to show the user table data so let's go to download and here you can see the PR for the table data so before this we are going to begin the PSP opening then the PSP closing inside this we are going to mention a while loop let's take care of while the first rapid it is because if it were dollar row equal to do it will be my SQL I underscore page underscore as a to first bracket inside this to first bracket we need to mention this dollar razor so we are going to say here dollar razor then we are going to give to second bracket so to say this second bracket we are going to write some html code so we need to close that is to open it over here after this second bracket and here for the second bracket we need to give them this people opening here okay so right now let me just start in this tr form here and i'm going to paste in over here so here inside those td we want to show the data using dollar row the user data so here let me just remove all those and here let me just say for the first one we'll give the PST opening here again then the PST closing so inside this we are going to say here echo then we make sure this dollar row we'll say dollar row then to third bracket in single position and first of all we have the username email phone and address and in the database here you can see we have the name like this email phone and address like you need to write it exactly you have in the database so for it let's go back and here we are going to say it will be name so i'm just going to copy this and i'll paste it for each one of those so after name we have the email so we set your email then this will be form and this will be address and those will come from the database table so if we now set it then refresh here there is a reader at line 24 uh let me check with there is no either of what of yours okay i made a spelling mistake at it in the async in the cp select star pound users sorry about the spelling mistake let's save it uh let me just refresh here again and there you can see it will show us the data from the database and there is no admin data here here in the database we have a admin user and it is not showing as the admin user it will only show us the Regular to bring up over here. This is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, uh, we are going to have a search option here. When someone uh, search for a product, it will show that user the specific product. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I will proceed with the future tutorials.